Hello, DevGuide here. And have you ever wanted to host your own Minecraft server? And if you did, have you ever wanted to go the extra step and host a Minecraft server for versions of Minecraft before um, in 2009? Well, here today I'm going to show you how to host a Minecraft Classic server. You're talking about Java Edition Classic uh, 0.30, the last version of Classic um, released all the way back in November 10th, 2009. This used to be available for free actually on the website, like anyone could go to the Mojang website. It's pretty much a free to play version of Minecraft that was just outdated for a while. Um, and then eventually Beta 1.8 uh, came around, added creative mode, and then Basically, Classic really became obsolete once Creative was actually in the finalized game instead of just this early test version. Um, so yeah, pretty classic version. Yeah, classic version, right? Pretty old school version. So I'm going to teach you how to host it because, as you may know, they've taken the uh, classic version off of Minecraft's website. They do have a version of Classic today, but this is actually a redone version, like a completely different version. Um, so the talk does say like 0.023a because the version names in Classic were super weird. But this is actually a recreation of Classic in like modern JavaScript. So this is actually not a original Classic version. This is just a recreation of what Classic would look like. I'm going to show you how to host your own server nowadays. So you're going to need to have two things. You're going to need to go to the Minecraft Gamepedia. Go to uh, server versions, make sure you do the 1.10.1, it fixes like one bug, but this is like the latest server jar you can get, like all the way back from December 2009, yep, this is the last uh, classic server version. And you'll want to make sure to go here, you know, click the download, I've already downloaded it, but you can like download the zip of it and make sure you have like the right job and everything. So download the zip of Classic Server 1.10.1 off of the Minecraft wiki. Um, an amazing like custom Minecraft launcher called the Betacraft launcher. Betacraft is going to support you, add skin support, sound support. Basically fixes a lot of issues that the modern launcher has when trying to run a classic, you know, old school versions of Minecraft. So you'll want to have the Classic Server jar, and you'll also want to download this launcher. Uh, make sure to go to betacraft.uk. It used to be betacraft.pl, but they changed the domain. We'll need to download Java in order to run a Java server. Download it, go through the whole setup thing, get Java installed, and you should be good to go. I already have it downloaded. Uh, you might have to extract the zip file, so you just like download that server jar. And then you'll pretty much have this stuff. Some of it's auto-generated, um, some of it's like came with the zip file. So you'll go here, you'll create a batch file. And this is a very simple like three line batch file. So you just say like echo off. So it actually like puts things onto the control panel. Um, pause and you'll do your Java. You can dedicate how much RAM you want for this classic server. So I can just do like two gigabytes for example. You could probably do one though. Um, and then this is the most important line right here. So you're gonna wanna do D HTTP. Basically set the proxy host to Betacraft UK so you can appear on their uh, server listing. And then you'll want to do dash CP for copy, uh, Minecraft, that server jar, and then just like the class name like commojang server, like whatever it's called. And then pause just to make sure your uh, command window stays open if you want to see all the chat messages and like what's going on with the server. So you'll save that, save it as like a .bat file, close out of that. And then what you'll want to do is you can go ahead and run this. Although if you do want to make more changes, what you can do is go to your server um, file here, change your uh, server properties. So you can do some different things. You can change the name of your server, um, max players that are allowed, max connections, and of course your mod D, which is basically your description of your server. So welcome to my server. I'm VTuber Dev Guide. You can put whatever you want in there. Okay, you can like go ahead and save that. And then also, and of course, I'm going to blur this in the video. They give you an external um, URL. So that way you can edit more um, settings on your on the official proxy. 
And uh, here you go. You'll want to be careful though, because it shows your IP address. So like it, like I said again, some of this stuff I'm gonna have to blur out. But here's just another place where you can like change different information, like Dev God's creative uh, serve classic server, change like the preferred version, classic protocol. Um, I think some of this can be is filled out automatically for you, but just in case you have to go in and change something yourself, you can go to this URL. And then online mode, which basically means they have to be signed in with a Mojang account in order to play on the server, which I usually just leave this on just to play it safe. So you can like apply changes. It'll say your server entry was updated successfully, so you are good to go. And then you pretty much have everything. You have you can like edit your server properties, you can like read the readme if you really want to. Um, you can add yourself as an admin in the admin folder just in case like you have to kick anyone in game. Um, you know, so pretty much your generic Minecraft server stuff. But once you have all that stuff configured, all that stuff ready to go, go ahead, double click your batch file. Um, it might, yeah, it's going to generate your level, your server underscore level. So that's like where your level data is stored. Um, you know, very fun stuff like that. I'll show you um, the URL you can connect to. Which, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, blur that out yet again. There's so much stuff in this video I'm gonna have to blur out. Um, you will have to port forward, by the way, but there's other tutorials on that I'll link in the description, because each router is different and weird with port forwarding. But basically, it's basically turning it from, like, a LAN kind of server where only people on your own internet connection can play it to a worldwide server where it's, like, out there, anyone can connect to it. Um, yeah, that's basically port forwarding in a nutshell. So we have that running. We have our bat running. We can go ahead, open up the Betacraft launcher. Uh, we can like go ahead really quick and reload the server listing, and you'll see a whole bunch of different classic servers. Um, yeah, like some older, but most of them are going to be classic 0.30, just because that's like the latest, most feature-packed version of like 2009 Minecraft. Um, so we can go ahead, scroll down. And then here we see our server, DevGod's Creative Classic server on uh, Classic version 0 0.30. So we can go ahead and click that. It's gonna make us, you know, select our version. Uh, we can go ahead and just say like, one it gives us by default. Um, yeah. And then it's gonna say you can like resize the window you wanna play with, click anywhere to start the game. We can go ahead and start the game and there we go. We see like the welcome message and there we go there's our server so we can see the trees we can see the pretty much what you can do so you can be in the server like build stuff um limited world um how many blocks are these just just like a handful of blocks but i've seen some amazing things created um yeah so that's pretty much all the features of minecraft classic break blocks place blocks a video about digging straight down. Let's go ahead and like dig straight down in classic. Let's see how this ends. Oh yep, there we go. There's the lava. So I would have uh, died right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Can't really do that much. Um, but you can say you own a Minecraft classic server. And yeah, that's about it. So you know, thank you guys for watching. Um. You know, comment down below if you have any issues. That's pretty much how you host a Minecraft uh, Classic server. Everything you need to know about Minecraft Classic. Um, hosting, you know, Minecraft servers, but back in 2009, that's definitely what I'm going to try to name the video. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.